I know Chiggs is in here recording this. No Chiggs moved in here, right? So whatever you oh, say. Sorry, you know Chiggs gonna have, have everything up there. Whatever you say, Chiggs gonna be on YouTube with it, man. Travesty today. Soon as I got off the plane, John Morant, aka Must See TV. What's going on, guys? Like what? What's going on, guys? John Morant, must see TV. The man goes. He was accused of pulling out a gun on Instagram, whatever the case may be. He gets in trouble. His team puts it together. They put him together. They put him in a program so that he could get therapy. Everything's perfect. He comes back. He does an interview with Jalen Rose. Yo, my bag. I'm sorry. Now the season's over. And he's waving a gun on IG again. John Morant, I wish you the best. I really do. And last time I talked about this. I was so serious. Kick Capri, what's up, baby? Living legend. I was so... Uh, and everything I said, some people might have took it as... I was hating somebody. I don't know what B. I said. Nike just dropped them. Nike, Nike gonna... Everybody is. Explain something to you. You can have all the talent in the world if you don't move smart. Now, he moved smart the first time. Anybody can make a mistake. He went to therapy. He did the right thing. You know, he did the shit, you know, the white people would do. So I said, but now he pulls out again. John Moran is very close. Y'all, Greg Nice, what's up, my brother? I'm Greg Nice and I am MC Smoothie. Together we are pure blend with perfect harmony. Hey y'all, listen, man. Uh, and so now all I can say is I wish for the best because the man's trying hard to go play for Turkey or China or Serbia Montenegro. He's trying hard to get kicked out the NBA. And those guys that's with you, they not your people's job. They don't care. This is a problem we have with our community becoming famous, becoming celebrity. Because the people around you, they like that the girls is watching. They love the lifestyle, but they're not you. They didn't dribble the basketball in the snow on, on Christmas trying to figure out the Kobe moves or the Jordan moves. They didn't put in the work like you. And guess what? If you get thrown out of the NBA, these are the same guys who are going to say, yo, he wasn't shit anyway. You know, it is what it is. Yo, nah. Jah, these are not your people. Anybody telling you or pointing you in the direction of ignorance, it's not with you. And so I, kept, I told you this before. If you got 1% in your brain, you know how you got a bunch of friends and we love uh, the attraction of all our friends. If you got a friend that you think 1% ain't loyal to you, and ain't for the better, better of you, you got to get away from them. Because that hint, that gut feeling, that instinct always turns out to be right. And so John Morant, I don't know if you have another chance. Kid Capri said his man is a sucker too. His man posted that. His man, it was on live. His man ain't know he was going to do that. If he did, he was, to me, his man... Put the phone down so fast, you gotta salute him. <laughs> and so, 
But that yeah, yeah, but this is not going to... It's not going away. It's, just, it's 25, 30 game suspension. Who knows? You're not going to get rid of him because he's so talented. And if he do it one more time? He's no, no, no. He's going to get rid of him. Not now. One they more. sent Allen Iverson to fucking Turkey, bro. Eh, nah. A I. I get it. I get it, bro. I get it, bro. No, sir. No, sir. Stephon Marbury was getting $200 million. $20 million a year. $22 million a year. They sent them to China. And, he, and, and him and AI wasn't waving guns. I get it. I get it. I get it. It's Come not going to It's not gonna happen. He needs help. This man should have never went live. It's true. That Knicks fan TV charmed in. Shout out to the Knicks. May is definitely, uh, you know, <laughs> May is in the building. <laughs> Let me explain. Sir. They will Gilbert Arenas him, somebody said. <laughs> it's going to happen. It's going to happen. And so I wish him the best. But come on, there's two times. Even if they give him 30-game suspension. All right, why, guys? Why? Because the NBA is not rap. It is not hip hop. It is a bunch of little kids all around the world that look up to these guys. Right now it's Mother's Day. I just watched the Celtics and Philly. And shout out to Jason Tatum. He's a beast. Shout out to the Celtics. They look amazing. Uh, shout out to the Miami Heat. Because I don't run away from my talk. I, I fucked up. Oh, you laughing, huh? I messed up. I went up on there with Stephen A. Smith. Talking big shit about the heat. And they handled us. A lot of talk of Julius Randle should get traded. Let's seasons. We did not get Donovan Mitchell. Was because of RJ job to be transparent. And so me, when I was in the game, they would always tell me, yo, you're not going to be hot forever. Save your money. Watch how you spend. This, this, that. Right. The truth is I make more money now that I'm older than I ever did when I was younger. Thank God, alhamdulillah, right? But the thing is, um, what do you tell a young kid? This, this is in reference to John Morant, but somebody got to really tell John Morant something. What do you tell a kid who... Grew up with no father, grew up on welfare, grew up fucked up, grew up everything. And now they become successful. They get rich overnight. They got a bunch of crew with them. Yes, man, this, this, that. You can't really tell them much. All you could do is use yourself as, as an example and say, yo, listen, I went broke three times. I used to hang out every day with 30 guys paying for 30 lobsters. 30 hotel rooms at the Four Seasons. There was a time Terror Squad was riding around with uh, Cadillac trucks 30 deep. That's for damn sure. And so what happens <laughs> is I already did it, so I try to let them know ahead of time, watch what you do. Because I see how these young boys, they get into the bag, and they tricking that money before they even get it. And so if, if you're not thinking about the tax guy, the tax guy is coming. Like BDOT, why don't y'all do a class? Why don't BDOT, why don't y'all do something on financial literacy strictly for these young rappers? Because they're going to get jammed up. How do I know? Because I got jammed up. And so, please try to get somebody around you. Hopefully somebody in your family who you could trust is really, really smart in finances and can go over the accountant with your people to make sure on top of you spending all your money, they robbing you. So it's crazy, man. Some people say they got to hit rock bottom to learn. No, you can learn before hitting rock bottom.